Hey everybody, Martin at Flick and Feathers again today. I'm tying a Jack Frost, or a variation on it. It's an old fly. Uh, I've scaled it into a certain mini lure size. It's less popular than it used to be. Certainly, I mean, it was kind of probably in its peak of popularity, maybe the 80s. Um, but it continues to work very well if you use it. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be eligible for the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. That's all very appreciated. So I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 10 Camazan B175, and I'm using some white Vivas and it's 10 or um and I'm just using this because it's fluorescent not unlike the white uni thread tail I've got 20 strands of glow bright number 4 here just in a bunch I've knotted them together and I'm just uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'll just um, catch them in Pull the waist to its about the body length. Another wrap just to secure it. And cut my tail to length. Now, if you're fishing this as a mini lure in competition, obviously you need to um, make sure it's sized legally. Uh, but I'm. Um, this is just going in my box and I don't fish competitions anymore so I'm not bothered to check it against the rules so I'm just tidying all this up because I want the white to be I want to have enough layers of thread here to like cover the red completely I want the white to be solid Catching in a length of silver wire on the way back down. Take it right back. And then I'm going to get a bit of just standard pearly tinsel. <coughs> um, used to be folk used like just clear polythene, but I like a pearly body. So I'm just going to catch that in. Again, length of the draw in, so the waist, the length of the body, and just carry on, tidy everything up. I'll just take another pass. Keep the turns touch and keep everything nice and smooth. Get to the front, I'm quite happy. Now, to make this fly even more durable, I'm going to get a wee bit of super glue. It's an awful lot. I'm just going to run it around that thread base and then I'll take my pearl tinsel forward slightly overlapping the turns and this just sticks it to the Thread, it makes it very difficult for a fish's tooth to lift the tinsel or break it. Do that off. Turn away my waist. I'll take my rib, take a full turn at the back just to protect the back and it centres the tail and then up. Four turns gets you up the body, four or five. 
bend it across the wire. I'll just run this right down to the, the eye and bend and break the waist away. Bring my thread back and then I'm going to get a fluorescent red. It can be cocker hen, I'm just using this real low grade uh, Indian cock neck. We tie it in with the tip to sort of save the bulk. And we come right back. Now, you can see here I've left myself plenty of room. Right, I've got two hackles, a wing, and some flash to tie in here. And you could even add jungle cock, I suppose, if you really wanted to. Catch that tip in. Couple of turns to secure both. Once you fold it back, and then. Just fold it and wind. Encourage the fibres to go back. As you just fold it as you wind it. You're basically doubling the hackle as you go. If you if you prefer to do that before you tie it in, you can. But I always just double as a as a wrap it. Lock that in again. Fold the Hackle back, break it away. I'll just tidy this up again. Here we check. In the wing with some white marabou. This is uh, Dave Downey stuff, it's the spring water blue, it's very nice. Marabou's great, I mean, really good. Um, Size of the bunch, well, up to yourself, how much do you want? Before I tie it in, what I like to do is cut the ends off, the, the butt pieces, and then just use your thumbnail, strip. You can strip the flue away to give you a bit more compact tie in. Just that off again a wee bit. Catch that off. We've got a fluff. Nice tight wraps. Take them down to the front. As you'll see, it's quite long. I'm going to tie my second hackle in front of the 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 wing, so that's why I've got as much space here. Right, wing. You'd never cut marabou tips with the scissors. Just always break it. Just pinch it. Get re grab. Uh, and then the front oh, flash, I've got a wee bit of polar flash here, um, don't even know the colour code of this one, no in the packet, but it, oh, 2001 is the colour number, it's the silver pearl, just I've got a couple of strands of silver, a couple of strands of pearl, and we'll just get it all together. And as usual, I just tie a wee knot in the four strands. It keeps everything together, manageable on your desk. Just evened up the tips. I'll offer it on my side first. Come around. Catch it in the far side. Away the same length as the wing. You can still kind of adjust them a wee bit at this stage if you need to. There we go. And now we're ready for the final hackle, which is a white hen, and I'm using. 
some mates from my mates Magnum Hensaddle. I actually use it for feather game changers, but um, some of these wee feathers at the front of it are perfect for the mini lures as well. So I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Catch it in, fold the tip back, take your three turns to cover everything up. I'm just going to find that hackle tip, keep everything tight and just, oops, nope. Got a wee bit of wax in my thread. The, the Vivas is a lot slicker than uh, the Uni. Taking those thread wraps off and repositioning. That's better. If you're not happy, you always just go back or something. I mean, don't let it bother you if something like that happens, you know, you just. Carry on. Yeah. Here we go. Snap that away. And then just wind this. Fold it as you go. If it's no setting, just take your time. When you go back around the next time, it will often do exactly what you want it to. There we go. A couple of turns to secure it. Fold everything back because the stem's nice and thin. Build your head. If it doesn't want to break, you can just come in and trim it. Nice and close. And then quick finish. Nice and tight. And your Jack Frost done. Good be fly. Um, catches stock rainbows and brown trout alike. You know, it's a nice attractor for the top drop or all the, all of the point, and you can tie a booby version or a muddled version very easily too. So, there you go. I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye!